What's going on YouTube? Say hi, man. Back with another Power Rangers figure review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Saban's Power Rangers Super Force, Super Mega Force. This is the Green Ranger. You can see this is pretty much going to be like a repaint of the Red Ranger that we have already gotten, which I reviewed months ago. Still haven't reviewed the White, Range, uh, White Ranger. I've had it for a while. I just haven't reviewed him yet. Um, but you can see here this is going to be the same mold and looks like to be the same accessories pretty much overall from the Red Ranger. You can see right there it says Armored Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. There's a nice image there of the Green Ranger. So that's uh, pretty much the front of the package. Let's look at the back side. On one side of the uh, package and you got the Green Ranger there with his flute. You can see that right there or the Dragon Dagger. So that's one side of the packaging. The other side you just got the figure standing in a straight pose. So that's that. That's and the other here side. on the back, you can see there's the figure. Uh, it does show you the sheet, the, the you know the, the the power shield there, and um, or the dragon shield, and uh, you got the the dagger and the interchangeable hands, and you got little you know positions you can put the uh, the figure in. And here's the other figures from the series. So I already reviewed the Red Ranger. I still need to re review the uh, White Ranger. Don't really care for the newer um, Rangers, but that's. Uh, the back side of the packaging here. All right, guys, let's take a look at the figure. So we're gonna take them outside of the packaging and take a closer look. All right, so here's a quick little 360 look at the Green Ranger, a quick little top to bottom. Now, every problem that the Red Ranger had, I am having with the Green Ranger, and I'll get into that here in a second, but here's a quick little 360 look. I still do like the, the figure. I mean, I love the Power Rangers, and uh, it's still a great figure, even though it's just a repaint with the same accessories as the Red Ranger, but this is a quick little 360 look. Let's take a closer look at the Green Ranger. Okay, so the, what, accessories wise, what the figure does come with, he does come with two interchangeable hands, with, which pop in and out easily. He's got two kind of open open hands, you can make that there. They got a little bit of detailing in the gloves, and he does have a peg in one of them, you know, so you can uh, put the, um, the, the dragon dagger in, because this does have a peg there. I should say this has a peg hole, I said it has a peg, so if you really wanted this to stay still in the hand, it'll stay perfectly in the hand. So he does come with the two hands. He does come with the dragon dagger, which is really cool. You can make out the coin right there, which is nice. Again, this is the same one that Jason had or the Red Ranger had from the figure. So get another one of these, which is cool. And again, the peg will uh, peg into the figure's belt. Uh, he also does come with these little gold bands that go around his biceps. Now, just like the Red Ranger, I could not get these to stay up on the arm, like still in the arm. I mean, you see this one kind of did, but then eventually they go down. You can see right there. So that kind of sucks that these don't stay in a place. Um, but the way to get these in is you have to pop the, the actual forearm out to put these in. They can't go over the hand and forearm. So you have to actually pop the arm off. And the same problem with the shield that I had is that it, it, when you peg this in, because you can see it just pegs in and the back part just goes over the, uh, or under the, the, the arm, armpits there, you just do it like that and then you can see you have these pegs here that just peg into here. But these here, these little other holes that go under the arms, they don't really peg into the, the bottom part of the shield so they're just gonna be like pretty much just dangling there. But if we take the shield out, it, again, this is the same exact shield that we got from the uh, the Red Ranger figure, but it still looks cool. I still really like it. So it's a kind of a plastic material. I wish it would have been more metallic looking to make it look a lot cooler. But you know, it is what it is. Um, looking at the figure himself, it's a very very cool figure. Helmet looks really nice. I love the paint that they use on this guy. It's a pretty bright green. But the uh, helmet looks good. The visor looks great. You can make out the mouthpiece there. And the body, there's the green ranger uh, coin. Very, very nice. And there's the peg on the belt, like I mentioned earlier, where you can just, if you want to put the dagger there. Let's see if I can pop that in. I'm having trouble putting this in the, the peg there. If I can't get this, you guys get the idea. But it doesn't look like you have to, it kind of looks like you have to put a lot of force in, but this does peg in there. Um, the back side of the figure, one thing I don't really like is that it has so many screws. I don't like how you can see that, but when you put the shield on, you can't really make out all of them. But that's a lot of, that's a lot of screws that he has back there. Um, and overall, same exact figure as the Red Ranger. 
can see it's got the gold outlining on the boots. There's the bottom of the feet, no peg holes. And uh, there's a close look up at the feet there. But overall, my thoughts on this figure, I still like them. I hope we get all the Rangers. I'm hoping we get the pink, the blue, the black, and the yellow Ranger very soon. Um, now, as far as articulation goes on this guy, the arms do go in and out. It is going to be a very articulated figure. The arms do go in and out. Um, they do go forward and back. He's got upper arm rotation. He's got a uh, bend at the bicep, rotation in the forearm. The uh, wrist can go up and down and rotate. He's got the upper torso crunch. You can see that there. Rotation at the waist. The head can go, uh, actually it doesn't go up and down, but it can rotate. Legs go in and out, forward and back. Bend at the knee. Rotation in the leg. You can see that there. The foot can go up and down. No toe articulation. It doesn't go side to side or anything, but He's got lower leg articulation as well. So he is a very articulated figure. And he's a very nice figure. I mean, don't get me wrong when I say he has those little bit of problems. It's just, I just wish the shield would attach on better and would look a lot better as far as the, the metallic paint. But um, overall, it's a great figure. There you have it, guys. There's my review on the Green Ranger. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I definitely recommend you guys pick him up if you're a Power Rangers fan. If not, you guys are probably better off with the figure arts, even though it's smaller in scale but it's more accurate to the show and uh, articulation is great and you know I don't have any of the problems of, with the accessories like this figure has but um, you can still find him <laughs> you can still find him at Toys R Us or at Target um, the White Ranger and the Red Ranger I see a lot at Target and they're on clearance I think for nine dollars and I ended up picking up the White Ranger long before it was I saw it on clearance but definitely check these figures out guys and see if you're interested in them all right guys this is Seha Man hope you guys enjoyed this review thanks for watching stay tuned for more reviews Take care.